nice day like this, Sandra and I like nothing more than going for a run. We do, we do! <laughs> but running in a park like this can be dangerous. I don't think so, Chris. You could trip on uneven ground and sprain an ankle. Not me, Chris. I always keep my eyes on the ground ahead of me. Well, you could be so busy looking at the ground that you run into someone else and injure them. I don't think so, Chris. I'm very observant. Or with a running style like Zond's, you could easily hit yourself in the face with your own arm. Everything all right, Zond? Oh, yes, everything's fine. There's a big group of people over there, though. Yeah, looks like there's someone on the ground having difficulty breathing. Do you think they're having an asthma attack? Well, I don't know, but there's lots of people around, so we probably don't need to bother going over to check. Or do we? Injury alert! Come on, Zond. <laughs> What should you do if someone is having an asthma attack? A. Copy them so they don't feel alone. B. Help them to sit comfortably and take their inhaler. Or C. Use the time to practice your violin. The music might relax them. Or not. The correct answer is B. Help them to sit comfortably and take their inhaler. Let's see if this lot get it right. They've not had any advice, so they're winging it. Are you ready to try and help? Yeah! Off you go! Esme and Isaac are both pretending that they're having an asthma attack. I love you. Anyone with asthma should have their inhaler and spacer nearby. Will the team spot them among these random items? They've got the inhaler out. This would not be very relaxing. She's standing up. She's really crowded. They do seem to be getting him to blow up balloons, which is really the last thing you'd want to do if you were having an asthma attack. Looks more like they're planning a birthday party now. Our teams didn't quite get this right. They did have some good ideas. I'm going to call 999. And also some dodgy ones. Time to show you how it should be done. Remember, we're showing you what to do in an emergency, but it's always best to get an adult. So Chris is having an asthma attack. So the first thing I want to do is get him sat down so he's a bit more relaxed. Go on, have a seat. That's good. And try and breathe a bit more slowly if you can. You're doing a good job. Now, he's got his asthma inhaler with him and his spacer device. Put it against your face. A couple of puffs in there. And then big, deep, slow breaths. That's good. And then what I want you to do, Chris, is see if you can slow your breathing down. How are you feeling, Chris? I'm feeling better. Thanks, Sand. Right, so the important things are sit them down and get them relaxed. Get them their inhaler and give them a couple of puffs. Get them to slow their breathing down and calm them down. And if they're not getting better or they're getting worse, call an ambulance. You got that? Yes. Are you ready to give it another go? Yes! Brilliant. Off you go. So, if you see someone who's having an asthma attack, you should get the person to sit comfortably, find their inhaler and help them to take it. And if the inhaler doesn't help, get an adult and call 999. Esme, how do you think they did? Good. You know, Chris, it's really good to see they've got everything under control, but I am very pleased we went to check. That's right. You should never assume that everything is in hand. They might have needed our help. Right. Well, I'd say the last one to the ice cream van has to buy all the ice cream. Son, son, I didn't say go! <laughs>